The only way concealed carry could help you is if you have time and distance, which it didn't have, even with open carry. So next we're going to go to a situation where I'm a police officer. I have an open carry. I have a level two holster. Level one holster means there's only one retaining device. Level two means there's two, a snap, lock, and so you have to snap, lock, and rock it to get the gun out. Most police officers have level two or level three, which slows you down in your draw time. So if I'm facing this subject here, and I don't see his knife, and I'm telling him to stand down, let me see your hands, let me see your hands, I do not have time to draw if he attacks. Let me see your hands, let me see your hands. Alright, so I got stabbed out four or five times. <laughs> now let's increase that distance. I have my hand on my holster and the snap ready to go. So now we're at about 15 feet. Again, also I know that it's coming, so I have an advantage. Most patrol officers aren't expecting a knife attack. Let me see your hands, let me see your hands. I might have got the shot off. But the point is, is you see me backing up hurriedly, I'm trying to create distance to deploy my weapon. Now let's go, that's more than 20 feet, right? Again, same situation. You got the knife behind you. Let me see your hands, let me see your hands. So Dave's got concealed carry jacket on, snap, and an airsoft pistol in there, rack it so you can make sure you, uh, you get the shot off if you do. So he's got it, and then this is typically how people are going to carry their weapons. So we're going to see how well he can respond from about 10 feet away. Uh, he doesn't see the knife, suddenly I attack. I'm even telling him where I'm going, so the advantage is to him, but we'll see. Go. All right, kill shots. Now you notice I'm going for the sweet spot. With knife fighting, you can survive slashes because it hits the body, hits the rib cage, and does superficial damage. But stabbing is where you will kill someone. Coming up into the, the solar plexus right there, coming up into the heart, that's a kill shot. Into the temples, the back of the spine, into the head is a kill shot. And there's a sweet spot right here, this little triangle, sorry, this little triangle here by the collarbone. If you come in there with the knife like that, you get a pretty quick kill, and of course, slashing the throat will give him a kill. All right, so that's where I'm going is that sweet spot for a quick kill. So now we're going to increase the distance about 15 feet or so. Yeah. Okay, let's do this right here. Just do it right there, right here. All right, so, ready, go. Dead. Increase the distance. This is about 20 plus feet. Go. Okay. Good job. He got the shot off. He killed me just before I stuck it. Point is, is with concealed carry, you've got to be able to defend yourself and your gun. That's why you can't just rely on pulling your gun out and shooting. You've got to know some other tricks. Dave will demonstrate. Once again, I've got my knife. He feels threatened. I attack. He doesn't have time at this distance, or in this, in this range, to pull out his gun, so he'll use self-defense techniques. All right, so we're switching roles. Same thing, I'm left-handed. The gun's nicely buttoned and tucked away in here. I'm talking to this gentleman, and suddenly he goes ballistic on me and attacks. Take the knife. Now I can deploy weapon on the ground. All right. But see, the point is, I'm not going to be able to beat him if he just attacks. If I don't use any defensive tactics, right? I'll just try drawing on him, like so many people claim that they can do. And the knife broke. <laughs> That's how hard he's hitting me. <laughs> All right, so here's the next scenario. He's got his gun out, he's pointing it directly at me, and I'm standing here acting like a jerk. So I've been threatening him that I'm gonna kill him, I'm gonna kill him, he draws on me. Can he deploy his weapon and not get killed 
even in this position. Alright, so let's increase the distance. See how far it is. See, and he knows it's coming too, right? So he's got his guard. Let's see if he can get the shot off. So, uh, where are we? One and one? One and one. One and one. Great. And he knows it's coming too. <laughs> you, you look serious, yeah. man. You look serious. Good answer. Two to one. Woohoo! Alright, so the point is even with your weapon pointing at the person this close range, I still got the drop on with the knife. All right, let's try it this distance. I think this is yours, man. We go this far away. Yeah, so distance and time are your friends when you've got concealed carry. Don't think that you're invincible because you got a gun you carry around. Because there's bad people who know how to kill you even when you're pointing a freaking gun at somebody. Thank you.